what would God look like being against teen pregnancy and then create people who get pregnant at teens? I mean, they are able to get pregnant as a teenager. Must be for a reason that God created teenagers with the ability to get pregnant. Can't be against it. But that's something, they all were, they all against teen pregnancy and everybody they know is pregnant. <laughs> Just like they're against violence, violence all over the world. They're against homelessness and there's eight million homeless people in America. They're against drugs, drugs are everywhere. I'm not against teen pregnancy, but yet we don't have one pregnant teenager. Never have. There they sitting over there. They know they're not gonna get pregnant. Here. <laughs> not, up in here they not. <laughs> I'm not against it, but you sure not fixing to get pregnant. Here, honey. You got that right. got a lid on that thing, you better believe it. <laughs> Tight. <laughs> and anyone sitting in here that wants to get pregnant as a teenager, you have to go out there where people are against it. you go out there where everybody is against it, they'll put you in 10,000 positions where you can get pregnant. Mm. See, I'm not against teenagers getting pregnant, but you have to create 10,000 ways, different kind of ways, and be a genius to find a way to get pregnant around me. Because I believe in marriage. Hmm? I said, I believe in marriage. Interesting, isn't it? People that are against it have all the pregnancy. I'm for it. I'm not against it. And I don't have any. That's incredible. Black leaders are against illiteracy. And all their schools are producing 80% functionally illiterate. Hmm? I said black leaders are all against illiteracy. And everything under their control is producing 80% functionally illiterate can't even function in the reading world. I'm not against illiteracy. I'm for literacy. So I produce a literate school body. I have children who are two and three years old pick up books and have pencils in their hand and toddlers are learning how to write and learn how to make letters at two and three and four years old and writing because I'm for literacy. How do you account for that? My emphasis is different. Everybody else is speaking, running around, making big money, talking against illiteracy. Kids can't read. They spend all their time talking about they can't read while I spend all my time teaching them how to read. See how powerful being for something is? Black leaders are against segregation in school. I'm not against segregation in school. I've created my own school and I segregate <laughs> and I discriminate. You don't want to learn? Out of here. I segregate good students from bad students. You want to be bad? away from here. You don't want to learn? Away from here. Why? Because I'm for learning.
You have a kid that doesn't want to learn? We have a public arena out there where they love not to learn. <laughs> See, there's, there's plenty of room out there for your kid to be at home. <laughs> but he can't stay here like that because I'm for learning. I believe learning is fun, and fun is learning. And we're going to have plenty of fun. <laughs> I'm for a positive environment. While they're worrying about segregation and all, then I can take my children and demonstrate to the world that I don't care what's your color. You can't match my students. Black leaders are for integration. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to integrate with evil. I'm not against integration. I'm just for separation. And I'm busy separating. Good from the bad. Weak from the strong. Fools from those that have intelligence. I'm busy segregating, separating. That's what I believe in. I'm for separation. And all parents who want their children to come out from among the wicked of America and be ye separate are welcome to come over here with me. And we produce a superior product. Everybody in America is against AIDS. All the leaders against AIDS. I'm not. I love AIDS. My father created AIDS, and I love everything he created. The most fabulous thing on the planet is AIDS. is my friend. <laughs> Why? AIDS gets rid of faggots <laughs> and homosexuals. <laughs> AIDS is payback. AIDS is a recompense, promise. I'm for AIDS. <laughs> now check it out. Everybody that's against AIDS got it. <laughs> the whole society is full of AIDS and it's increasing. They don't want it and got it. They're against it and got it. I'm for it and don't have it. <laughs> Nobody here has AIDS. Nobody in my nation of Yahweh has AIDS. Not one. Why? Because they're against straight people. Hmm? I'm for straight people. Straight people don't have AIDS. Crooked people get AIDS. <laughs> Boy, it's powerful being for something. See, it's incredible. I can be for AIDS, and none of my people have it. Not going to get it either. None of mine are. My people are too intelligent to have AIDS. <laughs> See, when you're intelligent, you obey the laws of Yahweh. And when you obey the laws of Yahweh, then a man will not lay with another man as if he's a woman. Simple as that. So he's not going to get AIDS. Simple as that.
Isn't that simple? Yes, so I'm for the law of the Yahweh, which prevents AIDS. But I'm for AIDS getting rid of everybody that go against the law. AIDS always did get rid of them. It's just, they named it now. <laughs> AIDS were killing homosexuals before they named it. You know, you, all of you, everybody that's old enough, you remember young guys, kind of funny, little sugar in the blood. I mean, they all died young. <laughs> they never made it. And the old sister that made it, I mean, we know what, we know what she was doing. We do know. We really do know what she was doing. But all those faggots that travel the dirt road, old boys that hang out in the sewer pipe, <laughs> on their way out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. As long as you be hanging out in there and, and, and you know Yahweh said don't do it and boy that be so good to you because he said don't do it and you be laughing at Yahweh because you be doing it and he said don't do it and it be so good to you because you laughing but then guess who has the last laugh? See when you get AIDS you stop laughing <laughs> and then Yahweh starts laughing <laughs> Yeah, nah, 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 nah. I told you, I told you. <laughs> I am not mocked. Black leaders are against taxes. I'm not against taxes. Own your own country, you won't have to worry about taxes. Black leaders are against unemployment. I'm not against unemployment. I believe in creating our own job. I'm for creating our own for ourselves like everybody else in America is doing for themselves. <clears throat> to everybody that spends all their life marching and demonstrating, fussing, raising hell, filing lawsuits against discrimination in unemployment and all this, could have built 10,000 plants and employed the world. They have nothing because they're always against everything. Black leaders are against inflation. I'm not against inflation. I even take inflated dollars and pay for property that was bought cheaper. If you don't like inflation, print your own money. What you saying? Uh, it better be counterfeit. I, I own your own company in the country then. Each country prints its own money. Own your own country? I'm for owning our own country. Being sovereign, print our own. How can you keep up with white folk when they own the printing press? They need money, they print it. See, if you need money and print it, they call it counterfeit and you're going to jail. So you need to be for self-power. Black folk are against communism. I'm not against communism, socialism, or any other ism. I'm just for theocracy. I said, I'm for theocracy. I'm going to spread theocracy over the planet. And the only thing that's going to exist on the planet forever is theocracy. I don't have time to fight communism. I'm too busy establishing theocracy. <laughs> See, it takes up too much time and energy to be against communism and against socialism and against some other kind of ism. It takes all of my energy establishing the theocratic system where God rules. That's, you don't know what theocracy is. Black leaders are against discrimination. I'm not. I'm a discriminating guy.
You have two kinds of women, one fool and one intelligent. I'm definitely discriminating against those two women. I'm going to choose one over the other. Guess which one I'm not going to choose? The fool. That's discrimination. Discrimination is there's a raggedy house and there's a mansion. Discrimination is choosing one over the other. My wisdom tells me to choose the matching. People that don't believe in discrimination will take the old raggedy house and don't have money enough to fix it up. People that don't believe in discrimination don't care about the house being dirty and they clean up the house and let anybody come and make it filthy. Black leaders are against gerrymandering where politicians come and separate, you know, around. I'm for pulling ourselves together and ruling whatever neighborhood we live in. Black leaders are against reverse discrimination lawsuits. And that's where the white boys come back and take everything you had. Don't prove you never had anything. If you had it, how can somebody take it? If you practice, I'm for us practicing unity. And with unity, we have our own power. Don't have to worry about reverse discrimination, discrimination, or anything else. They're not worried about it. Other people come to America and don't worry about it. Why are you worried about it? Because you're all by yourself, instead of being for each other. Black leaders are against breaking up of union. They're against the breaking of a union. I'm not. I'm for establishing our own black union. Every black man, woman, and child is a member. <laughs> union comes from being a unit, one. I'm for us being one unit. That's where the power is. Why would you need a union when you own the plant? Everybody working in the plant owns it. We own our own grocery store, so we all work in it. Nobody can tell us when to open or when to close. We decide that. And that is the way it is. That's the power of ownership. See, the people that are against are the ones that don't own anything. Black folk are against police brutality. I'm not. Turn your back on Yahweh, you, you're supposed to be brutalized. How am I going to be against police brutality? I'm for owning the police. That's all. I'm for owning the police, police our own neighborhood, our police department. That's it. So I know my police is going to treat me right because he belongs to me. I know what to do for him if he doesn't treat me right. Why do you think white police officers treat white folks with respect? White folk own the police department. And they know how to make him act right toward them. Well, we don't own the police. Well, that's because you never thought about owning it. Never entered your mind to own the police department. You don't know how to own it. I do. I'm already policing. I police our neighborhood. I police our property. They tell me they're glad they don't have to come on it and police it. Right, because I'm policing. I'm the police. <laughs> That's right. I'm the police in here right now. So what kind of audience do we have? A peaceful audience. How many police officers in here? Let me see how many police officers in this room. Everybody look around. You've never been here before? Look around. Everybody in here is the police. <laughs> Anywhere in here you want to act up, 
the police in here will arrest you. Oh, some of you that's old enough, you know that any white man could arrest you. What? Still can. Any cracker anywhere in the country can arrest you. You say, he's not the police. He say, you're under citizen's arrest, nigga. Lay his hand on you and put the gun at your head. And we'll blow you away uh, as you under citizen's arrest. Say, didn't I say he was under arrest? Witness say, yes. Yeah. So when he go to court among himself, is he going to be guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Not guilty. You have the same power. That's why black people in Miami hold court in the street. When they get somebody unjustifiably blow somebody away, they just blow some crackers away in the street where they catch them. They hold court right there and dispense justice right there and hold themselves not guilty and go looking for the next cracker to get. See, so it really does work. <laughs> But just own your own community, own the police, or the substation is our community, then we're supposed to own that. And it won't work against us, it'll work for us, because it's ours. That's what I'm for. Waste no time talking about police brutality. New York, they just had some racial attack. They catch some little black brothers walking in the white neighborhood, they're killing niggas now, said another wasted nigger. That's what they say. That's 1989, you know what I'm talking about? That's this week. Open season on niggas all across the country, if you haven't heard. I'm not against that. See, I'm not against racial attack. <clears throat> I'm for owning your own neighborhood. Own the whole city. You can, you can buy up the whole city and put bricks all the way around it. Put your sensory guards where you want to and say whoever you want in, how long you'll be here, and this is what time you got to get out. <laughs> they do it to you. Go running out to some of these rich neighborhoods. They got great big brick fences all the way around. Jump over the fence and go running through there and then come through the gate. <laughs> Let some of them catch you coming across that fence. You can do the same. Now, I'm for the same. Hmm. Black leaders are against black students being attacked on college campuses nationwide. You know why? I'm not against it. Black students don't get attacked by white students on black campuses. I'm for black campuses. What's wrong with that? They're for white campuses. What's wrong with that? I'm for black ones. Black leaders are against, they're crying about lack of qualified teacher in black schools. Well, qualify them then. I'm for qualifying black teachers. I'm qualifying teachers, period. I've established Yahweh University. Out of Yahweh University is coming my own teachers. Where's the Adida? She came to me at 12 years old and is one of my Yahweh teachers, qualified by Yahweh University. She does an excellent job. Praise God. How old were you when you started? 
17. 17. You come out to public school, you don't start the college till you're 17 or 18. She qualified and started teaching Yahweh University at age 17. Why? Because I own the school. <laughs> That's why. Praise Yahweh. And I have another one. Um, Tamar, how old were you when you started in, in our school, Yahweh University? How old were you? Nine years old. How old are you now? 17, and she is now in orientation as a Yahweh teacher, instructor at Yahweh University. She doesn't need a BA from them, a BS from them, or no other kind of nothing from them. I qualified her, and she's producing the best, because I'm the best. You can do that when you're on your own. Hey, that's the way it is. I'm for this. I have a, a 16 year old uh, Shama Stan. She wrote me a, a thesis this past week on math. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 17 pages on one side, which was a total of 34 pages. Astonishing. Astounding. 99% of you in here wouldn't understand it. And I meant to bring it and read it to you tonight, but at a future class, I will read it. I will read her paper, or else let her read it. I'll let her read her paper to our nation during the feast. Put her on program for the feast. Astonishing. She multiplied some figure that took up two pages, number zero, just on every line, just zero. It was, I mean, you had to count for days. It's accurate. A natural genius in Yahweh, stimulated by Yahweh. Unbelievable. Why is it so? Because it's my school. I create them like that. Thank you, darling. I like my four sons to stand up that went to aviation school. And here's the other one over here. There's three over there and one here. He's also a video expert. You know, movies, t you know, TV, right? <laughs> they went to Florida Memorial College. Which one of you is 14? 14. 14. Sir, 16 and 18, 19 now, and 19. They went to Florida Memorial College, two 14-year-olds, a 16-year-old, and we were in class with white students, Hispanic students, black students. They were all over in the aviation program, and they gave out at least how many awards? How many? 25 awards. We took all the awards. This concludes part one.